Hello viewers, my name is Sophie Tonye James, a soul winner, and I'm here to talk heart to heart with some of my sisters and daughters out there who are involved in prostitution, and some call it runs. The reason I'm out here to talk with you heart to heart is because, you know, you cannot be without a witness. Because the Bible says that at the end of the days, no one will accuse God that he or she did not hear or was not warned. Because Jesus is coming and God is getting ready to wrap up things. Now, the main reason I'm out here to talk to those of you who are involved in runs or prostitution is this. Recently, I've come across quite a number of, of you. And when I try to minister to you, you, you are quick to tell me you are Christians. And I say, if I say, where do you worship? You mention one big church. It's usually one big church or one, you know, one, one church or the other. You just, you mention that you're a member of those churches. And I've come to discover that truly you are not lying. You have a membership in those churches. Truly on Sunday, you dress up to go to those churches. And you go to those churches, you give your offerings, you even pay tithe, but the truth is that you are living a double life. You are living a double life. You are living dangerously. You, call, you said you are a believer and you belong to a church. You go to church on Sunday and after Sunday, you continue with your regular life, with your regular job of run, running runs or prostitution. But Sunday again, you go to church well-dressed and you go there to give your offerings and you give your time. When they ask you, are you a, a believer wanting to minister to you, you mention the name of a church. And it's usually some big churches they will mention, you know. And truly, when they check you out, you actually go to church on Sunday. But during the week, you run things. You are living dangerously. That is what the Bible calls hypocrisy. The scripture said in Job chapter 13 verse 16 that hypocrites will not stand before the Lord. Jesus is coming. If you continue this way, you don't stand a chance of going in the rapture with Jesus. If you continue this way, you are going to be left behind to face the Antichrist. There is a judgment that is coming upon this world soon. Immediately after the rapture, the Antichrist will take over. And Christians who did not go in the rapture will be persecuted heavily. And the way you are living, you are going to be left behind because you are living a double life. James chapter 4 verse 8 says, You double-minded, purify your hearts. You are living a double life. Purify your hearts. You need to become single-minded. You need to become focused. You need to become heavily committed to Jesus. The truth is that if you are a Christian, it's time for you to purify your hearts. It's time for you now to keep your focus on Jesus. It's time for you to make up your mind to live for Jesus. Be single-minded. Let your heart be filled with, with the consciousness of Jesus Christ, with love for Jesus. And let it reflect in the way you live your life. You cannot be a Christian on Sunday and then Monday to Saturday you're running things in different, uh, 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 you know, different uh, bars different hotels and joints then Sunday you you carry your, your bag you're well dressed you go to church you cannot mock God you can't deceive God that is one of the greater deception self-deception you are living double lives you need to become single-hearted single-minded focusing on Jesus alone if you know that you want to live as a Christian and you know that you don't want to be left behind or even outside of the rapture, you can be called home at any time. What about if you die suddenly? With the, with the way you live dangerously, what about if you die suddenly? You follow strange men that you don't even know to go to places. What about if something happens to you and you die suddenly? Where will you go? Do you think you will meet with Jesus Christ with the way you are living? You deceive your pastor quite all right. But you, you are not deceiving Jesus. You deceive members of your church, but you are not deceiving Jesus. Jesus knows you. He knows everything about you. He knows the way you live. 
He knows that you are living a double life. And when you, as you live that kind of that type of lifestyle, does not qualify you to stand before the Lord. The Bible says hypocrites will not stand before the Lord. Job thirteen sixteen. You can check that on your own. You are living as an hypocrite. You you cannot. You will not meet with Jesus if you die. If you drop dead at any moment, you will not meet with Jesus. You you won't see him. I've come to encourage you to consider your way. To change your lifestyle, please. There is nothing you are looking for from the hands of men that Jesus cannot give to you. There's nothing that you are looking for that, you know, the grace of God cannot, you know, present to you. His grace is sufficient for you. As a believer, we are called to live by faith, and that's what you are running from. You don't want to live by faith. You want to... You know, get your supplies, things done sharply. You want, you know, men to be supplying you at your, uh, uh, to be at your beck and call, to give you whatever you need. You don't, you're running away from living by faith. The Christian life is a life of faith. We are called to live by faith. The New Testament, this dispensation is dispensation of faith. If you know that you are a believer and you truly want to be a believer, you truly want, when you finish your time on the earth, you will be in the presence of the Lord, then you have to live by faith. You have to live focusing on Jesus Christ. You have to live depending on Jesus Christ. Trusting Jesus for anything and everything that you need. And he is able to take care of you. Jesus is able to take care of you. He loves you. He loves you. He has paid the price for your life. Whatever you will need will happen for you by trusting Jesus. You need to learn to trust Jesus. He's able to take care of you. The one who loved you so much and went to the cross. There's nothing else that you need that he cannot provide for you. I want to encourage you to stop this lifestyle. To stop living double life. I want to encourage you to stop living a hypocritical lifestyle because it will not take you anywhere near Jesus. The day you close your eyes in death, you will split hell wide open. Even if you should die before the rapture, you will split hell wide open. You are going to hell. The fact that you go to glittering churches, big, big churches, and you pay offering, or you, you give offering, or you pay tithe there, does not guarantee you entering heaven. If you say you're a Christian, be a Christian indeed. If nobody, if, if nobody has told you, heaven and earth records this day. This day is a witness against you. God has sent me to come and warn you and tell you, quit living double life. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. The ones you have done in the past, you are forgiven. Now it's time for you to set the record straight and hold on to Jesus. Worship Jesus. Live for Jesus. If, you're, if you don't want to live for Jesus, you can't be with him. You can deceive men, but you can't deceive Jesus. Please, I'm begging you, my sister, my daughter house out there. It's time for you to live right. It's time for you to live right. Live this dangerous way of living. Live this life of trusting in men. Since you say you are a Christian, you are a child of God, it's time for you to live as a child of God. Live your life trusting Jesus. Live your life depending on Jesus Christ. Anything you need, pray, ask him to direct your path. If you live right and you live straight with Jesus Christ, you will begin to see his, his hand in your life. You begin to see his goodness. You begin to see him leading you and directing you, bringing help around you. You can deceive man, but you can't deceive God. I have come to encourage you to clean your hands and to purify your heart. That double-mindedness, let it come to an end. From now on, become single-minded. Focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. Serve him with all your heart. Turn from your ways now. Repent because Jesus is coming. Enough of runs. Enough of prostitution. Jesus can take care of you without prostitution. His grace is sufficient for you. 
please, my dear, I want to encourage you to turn a new leaf today by calling upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive you of all you have done in the past and ask him to help you from now on to live for him. And his grace, you will find out that his grace is sufficient for you. Please, I need you to rekindle the fire afresh. The love, let the love of Christ begin to burn afresh in your heart. Live for him and you will see the difference he will make in your life. Live for Jesus Christ and remain rapturable because Jesus is coming.